And a black eye for two major media companies, Time Warner Cable, the nation's number two cable carrier, uh, blacks out CBS, the top rated network for subscribers in some of the biggest markets, including New York City, Los Angeles and Dallas. Julia Borston has the latest. Julia. Tyler, Time Warner Cable and CBS couldn't agree on a deal of how much Time Warner Cable should pay CBS for its subscribe for its content for its subscribers. So what happened now is there is a blackout. If you turn on CBS in those major cities you mentioned, New York, Los Angeles, and Dallas, your screen will have a statement from Time Warner Cable saying that CBS has demanded an outrageous increase for programming. And then the statement then directs users to a website called TWCconversations.com to show people how to find ways to access this content without getting it on television. Now, Tyler, it's not just CBS. It's also Showtime. All of uh, the Showtime subscribers among Time Warner Cable's 11 million subscribers have lost access to Showtime. Now, CBS has shot back with its own statement saying uh, that this is an ill-advised action, which is injurious to not only its many affected viewers, but also to Time Warner Cable itself. The two companies are flamethrowing. They can't come to an agreement. And in the meantime, it's the consumers who are losing out. Julia, back over to you. Julia Borston, thank you very much.